Hey babies, jumping right into the video. Hey 4C B E F G girls, how y'all doing? Okay. <laughs> I do have my hair already lightly blown out. Um, when I say lightly, I just had like the blow dryer on really, really low heat and kind of just helped stretch my hair a little bit. Of course, to condition. I've already had my leave-in. Um, I believe it's the Ozzy Moist. Did I use the Ozzy Moist leave-in this time? I think so, in combination with some coconut oil. I'm gonna be doing some really, really chunky braids. So I'm trying to remember exactly how many I did. I did three, six. Let's see, 9, 12. I believe I have about 15 braids by the end of this video because I know you guys are always curious, but this is going to be determined upon your actual head size. So don't get too caught up in that. Um, and how many you have is more so about the boxes. So go straight down the middle and then I'm going to split the uh, other sides into two and then um, just kind of braid them off, section them off. Now that I'm looking back at this content and kind of editing it, I really realized that I should have just started the braiding process straight out of the gate, but I really Really wanted to show you um, pretty much how to get the parts together so that is pretty much it for this the hair that I'm gonna be using is uh, from Janet collection the details will be listed in my description box below it is their pre-stretched hair typically I use a completely different brand um, but it just gets really annoying trying to stretch out the hair so I've been liking that kind of you know pre-stretched hair um, I'm definitely on the hunt for um, different kinds so let me know if you want me to uh, try and test out some other brands outside of this one but uh yeah nevertheless I'm doing the best that I can to pretty much just kind of part things up usually I feel like my part are a little bit straighter but I don't know you know you be the judge you let me know because this was a work in progress okay the idea behind this video was to create some knotless braids so I really wanted to show you guys what it is that I do to pretty much get that look by the end of this you guys will see a completely different experience so this is not one of those videos for me to kind of just talk you through it to be honest it's more so one of those videos where you're gonna have to watch so um oh and I did show the back of my head so boom you guys get to see I did three across three in the middle and then two at the top here's what the packaging look like just in case you guys need to physically see that um if you want to just go to your beauty plus store I'm sure they'll have it and yeah the ends are already pre-stretched I think that this was like a 59 inch or a 54 inch I know that they have all the way down to like an 84 inch that is just like crazy long I don't need that um, and this is me like splitting the hair in half this is exactly how much hair I use for each braid I did not end up using two individual strands for it because they ended up becoming inverted braids so okay <laughs> this is not an official knotless braid tutorial this is more like my failed attempt at knotless braids all myself I guess individual knotless braids but the edge control that I'm using today is uh, edge booster um, I believe it's yeah just the edge booster the one in the purple container that I've been using for the past like four videos and then I also use that in combination with another one which I will not name because I was reviewing it for somebody and it left like product residue in my hair which you guys could kind of see towards the end of the video so I don't know if it was because I mixed it with the other you know edge booster products or what but nevertheless um, yeah just kind of going through my hair I section it off into three individual strands and I literally place the braiding hair up underneath the braid so that's what made it inverted um, I'm more of a visual learner I don't even really know how to explain that totally so I'm just gonna shut up play some music y'all enjoy the tunes and I will be back towards the end of the video um, just to kind of go over how I kind of dip the braids and things like that <laughs>
we are all done. I have all the braids in. This took me about mm, three hours, probably a little more than that, to be completely honest, um, because I was really struggling trying to do the feed in process. And so I just gave up. So that was that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I did go ahead and dip my braids. I literally just took a cup, filled it up about halfway with water, put it in the microwave for about two and a half minutes, dipping my hair. I have a towel um, right below me, of course, because this is extremely hot. You can literally burn yourself. So be extremely careful um, when you're doing this. Kind of just make sure that you're uh, doing it slowly you don't want to try to do everything all at once like I did because I did kind of burn myself in some areas but I did overall like the look of the braids I'm not impressed with myself because yeah it's just it's just very strange I don't I don't know why my brain couldn't wrap around how to do this so I'm gonna be doing this again um and I'll kind of talk about that towards the end of this video as well um actually on camera but nevertheless thank you guys so much for watching all that good stuff here's some more music and I will be back in a couple more minutes for watching this tutorial it ended up not being exactly knotless braids but more like inverted braids so i hope you guys enjoy it it's a quick protective style you guys literally i'll probably be wearing this for like two to three days obviously it can last about a good two weeks if you want it to but yeah like i'll only be probably pinning it up um with like a wrap and of course like putting it in a ponytail like things like that um i will definitely wear it down sometimes but yeah nothing too too crazy literally just something to kind of get your hair out the way get up go and don't have to think about it um the hair is not heavy at all like at all it feels really really good um in the future in the future i would definitely do them a little bit smaller and i definitely think i'm going to be redoing these anyway just to kind of practice with the feet and braids because i'm like what is going on like i can do it on someone else but i cannot do it on my own and that is just weird because usually i can do the harder version of everything on myself and you know it's a little bit oh well, i guess it's not hard to do it on somebody else but anyway i usually learn on myself first so that's just very strange but anyway uh like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial leave a comment all that good stuff make sure that you're subscribed i love you so much stay pretty and i will see you in my next video bye babies